Hi, my name is Haloom and I'm currently undertaking my PhD at the Baker IDI Heart and Diabetes Institute under the supervision of Dr. Tom Karajianis, who is head of the Epigenomic Medicine Lab. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the procedure known as clonogenic survival assay. This is a 50-year-old technique which enables the assessment of the impact of different treatments such as exposure to radiation or chemical agents on cellular reproductive viability. Clonogenic survival assay is a central technique in radiation biology for evaluating the radiation sensitivity of different cell lines and testing the efficacy of different radioprotective or radiosensitizing compounds. When using an adherent cell line, the clonogenic survival assay consists of three phases. First, the treatment of a monolayer of adherent cells. Second, the preparation of a single cell suspension and plating of a known number of cells in petri dishes. And third, staining and counting of colonies formed after a period of incubation. In this video, I will be using immortalized human chronocyte cells to demonstrate how the clonogenic survival assay can be used to determine the radioprotective properties of a natural antioxidant. 12 25 ml flasks are seeded with cells in 5 ml of media beforehand so that on the day of the experiment there are 1 million cells per flask. 50 microliters of the drug is added at different concentrations to the 5 ml of media in each appropriately labelled flask to achieve the required concentration. Five concentrations are used, as well as one vehicle control, in this case PBS. After adding the drug, the cells are incubated for one hour in the conditions appropriate for the cell line used. After incubation, the flasks, excluding the control group, are irradiated at the chosen dosage, which in this case is 4 gray, produced by a gamma ray emitting cesium source. After irradiation, the media is poured off and each...